Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to convert file to Base64 and convert Base64 to file in Power Automate Desktop. Let's assume I have a database which can only store string values. As alternative, I'm required to convert the file into Base64 string, then other user will be able to download the files. In this example, there will be two parts. Number one, I have an Excel file which contains a file path to be converted into base64 string. The first step, what I will need to do is terminate Excel. Launch my Excel. Now to get first free row. After that, I would like to read a range of cells. And on the advanced, I need to select this first line of range contains column name. Afterwards, what I will need to do is for each item, In my Excel data, I would like to convert the file to base64. Over here, I have a few images that I will need to convert to base64 string. So over here, I will indicate current item followed by square brackets, a single quote, and my column name. Once this is done, I would like to append the records inside base 60, inside this column, column B. All right, so I will use a write to Excel worksheet. The value to write I would like to set as base64 text column b at which row in this case we do not have the row value so we are going to use a set variable as a counter and i'll call this as excel row counter and i will start at 2 why because the first record starting from 2 and then I will indicate here as Excel row counter. Afterwards, every each step done, I will need to increase the variable of my Excel row counter. Let's try to run this flow. Over here, I have a set of base 64 string. Then, let's assume that we have uploaded these sets of base 64 string into database. One day, I would like to download all the files into my local machine. So let's assume I've already downloaded all this information from my database. All right, and then now I want to download the files and store it into a different location. So let's try to store it inside base 64 to form okay 
let me copy this first and set it as in my subflow I'm going to copy the same sets of flow as they are similar I'm going to delete this and then I don't need this as well now I will use the convert base64 to form and then I will need to indicate the current item followed by a square bracket single quote and base 64 string and then where do I want to save it basically I want to store it inside the far path column and if the file exists what I want to do I want to override the files and I click save and this one I can delete and of course last but not least I want to close the excel Okay, so now let's try to run this flow. Meanwhile, I leave it here. So we have successfully downloaded all the files. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.